Hi, I'm Canon Hewitt. I'm playing Maya in the Bact production of Kuroko in November, and today I'm here to show you how to properly eat natto. The first step is to get your natto, uh, make sure that it is that it is thawed out if it was a frozen one. You don't want to eat a cube of natto, so make sure it's all thawed out, and we're going to open it up and mix it up with the sauces. An important part about eating natto is to make sure you mix it up. You want this stringy stickiness that we call neba neba, the neba neba of natto. You want this because this is where all the good yeast from the fermentation is. And now that we've mixed up our natto, we will eat it with a delicious bowl of rice. we eat, it's important that we get all hair and beard and whatnot out of our face because as we know, thank you, natto is very sticky and we don't, it's also a bit stanky so we don't want it in our hair for the rest of the day. So we'll tie this up and you may have noticed when I was preparing the natto, I would do this motion around the natto. What I was doing was I was taking the stringy sticky strings of natto and moving it really fast so that it would break the strings and you'll see me do that when I eat it as well so I don't get natto string on my chin where it's going to be stanky for the rest of the day. meal quite fancy if you want to add other things like bonito flakes, green onion, daikon oroshi which is grated daikon, white radish, and you can also substitute the tare, the sauce that comes in the packet with your favorite sauce like good soy sauce, ponzu, or really anything else that you'd like to eat it with. Natto is also very versatile, um, you can eat it in a scrambled egg, you can put it in an omelet, you can put it on toast with some cheese. You can eat it in any way you like, and it is delicious in all of the ways. Catch us in November at the Kolch, opening on November 6th.